Hi guys, what's going on? Good to see you again in June. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winnerable Ecommerce. This episode is going to be my June market update for all Seattle and Eastside neighborhoods. And mortgage interest rate is rather coaster in 2023. You guys can see with me on the screen right now those peaks and valleys. It's changing a lot almost every single month. Freddie Mac, a mortgage survey data is 6.71% right now for serious fixed mortgages. But again, mortgage rate can be a little bit different for everybody because somebody have better score, somebody have worse score. And depends on the, your down payment and program, your mortgage can fluctuate between 6.5% to 7% on today's market. On this slide, you guys can see months of supply of inventory in Snohomish County and King County. And what we see together is pretty much less than two months of supply of inventory. That represents yellow color. Uh, right now, that shows market it's tightening more in a seller's favor. And why market is starting right now? Because not many people are selling in King County, Snohomish County. What we see right now, we have only four categories of sellers selling properties. First category is estate sales, retirees, as they move out of states or different locations. People who are moving out of states for the job reason. Uh, people who mortgage free, they doesn't have any mortgages and, and people experience it, life changes. Those people who currently in divorce and they have to sell the property because they're divorcing. People who uh, want to downsize or upsize because kids moved out or moved in or maybe parents moved in to live with them together. They simply need a bigger house. Only those categories is selling right now. Other sellers, specifically sellers who have mortgages and about 3% mortgages, they attempt to keep the properties and they does not want to put homes on the market yet. Speaking of Seattle, uh, we have right now one month supply of inventory in Seattle with medium sell price $905,000 in June and price decreased for 12% year over year. Also, new listings is 20% of comparable to the previous year. And if you take like 10 years average, in Seattle right now, we have 32% less listings than 10 years average than like a year ago and two years ago. In general, we have about 1,068 listings by end of the May, but currently in Seattle areas, we have 805 active listings on the market. And if you compare to sales east side, including Bellevue, uh, we have also one month supply of inventory right now on the market and we have medium sell price on east side one million four hundred fifty thousand dollars and price decrease for nine percent year over year simply lack of supply continues to limit sales we have 34 percent less listings year to date uh, starting in june and we have average in May 580 listings, and this is 32% below 10 years average. In 10 years average, we have 854 listings every year in Seattle's east side neighborhoods. Seattle neighborhoods, we have 41% homes selling above asking price, 22% selling at asking price, and only 17% homes selling below asking price. And uh, how much people pay above asking price in average? They pay about 7% above asking price. Comparable to Seattle in sales east side neighborhoods, we also have 44% homes sold about asking price, 14% sold at asking price, and 24% homes sold below asking price. And people who uh, paid above asking price paid about 5%, that's a big number, 5% on $1,450,000, it's about $72,000 people pay above asking price. In sale neighborhood, 72% homes sold less than 15 days on the market. We see medium sell price is actually jumping from 825,000 to 689,000 and all the way to 905,000. And homes sold above asking price increasing again from January about 13%. We moved to February 28% and currently end of the May was 41% homes sold above asking price. That show for us guys how's market heating up right now. And if you compare to Seattle's 
east side neighborhoods. We have 75% homes sold less, less than 15 days on the market and about 10% homes sold within 30 days on the market. It's also about 85%. Market is moving very fast in Seattle's east side neighborhood and homes coming on the market, they selling fairly quickly. Also, but you guys can see homes sold about asking prices increasing and increasing dramatically from 6% was in December, 28% in January, February 17%, 24% in March, 36% in April, and end of the May we have 44% homes sold above asking price. So market is heating up in Seattle east side neighborhoods as well. And why is this happening? Because simply we have lack of supply of inventory. And you guys can see with me this slide on the screen, uh, how many homes right now listed on the market and how many homes listed for rent. I just pulled east side data, just three cities, Bellevue, Kirkland and Redmond only. We have right now for rent on Zillow, uh, 826 properties for rent and we have 259 homes for sale. You guys can see we have three times more homes for rent than for sale and those people who own those properties, they decided to put homes in the rental pool. That's why we have such lack of inventory. I don't think this lack of inventory is going to be changed for the next couple of months. We're probably going to be see similar data in July and August. And remember, August is a very, very slow market. We, we might have a little bit more inventory on the market and maybe it will be a little bit more better to the buyer, buyer's favor, but I don't think market going to be changed a lot. It will be interesting to see how we're going to be end up this year because it will be all depends on the mortgage interest rate. Uh, if Fed decide to not raise rates and mortgage rates will ref reflect that and going to be decreased, we're going to be have a lot of buyers moving back to the market and market going to be hitting up even to the more sellers favor than we have right now. With that guys, uh, my advice for you guys if you're looking to buy the property, buy it right now because we don't have a lot of competition, we don't have to pay 100,000 or 200,000 about asking price right now. As market hitting up, sellers will receive more offers and buyers going to lose uh, opportunity to do uh, home inspection, to negotiate price, uh, to take time to look for more properties until this property is still on the market. Uh, most likely those homes going to be sell faster. So if you're looking to buy the property, my advice for you guys, do not wait, take advantage of this time because this time can be gone fairly quickly. And again, if you're a seller and looking to sell the property, you see those categories who sell and we have lack of supply of inventory already and we have a lot of people looking to buy homes. So great time to list, great time to sell. If you need my help, reach out to me. I would be love to be your real estate resource also. Another announcement I have for you guys. In the summer months, I'm going to do buy monthly market update, not every month, because I'm really busy right now to help my buyers. And I have also uh, listings and sellers have to help them as well to sell the property and provide for everyone red carpet service. With that, guys, when the market is slowing down, I will be more on YouTube. But if you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to me. You can simply Google me, find me online. Uh, my name's everywhere on Seattle's East Side, and uh, I will be glad to help you with your real estate needs. And also, do not forget to smash like button, subscribe to my channel. Until next episode.